Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Slay. Tonight we'll be tackling another hard level, and I really hope to bring you a win. We will be playing Edao this evening. Analyzing this level, I see we have several territories here in the south. Definitely going to be threatened by light brown and medium green. More territories in the central area, several of which should be able to be combined rather easily. Dark brown should be a problem. And very few territories, in fact none, off in those eastern peninsulas. That should make this exceptionally challenging, and that will be very difficult for us to put ourselves back against any bodies of water. Which that is always your objective to get yourself backed up against a body of water. It's like having your back up against the wall. You won't be fighting a war on two fronts. But I think the flip side to that here is simply that we will be able I would love to have been able to combine those guys. I don't think that was possible, though. We will be able to combine territories rather early. Could be here that in the northwest we can combine. Let's see where we go with this. Oh, these yellow guys are going to be massively trouble. But we are combined here. We'll go ahead and start moving on them right away. Here as well. Split those brown units up. Now, down here towards the south is less we can do. Your yellow is a challenge. We're fairly secure by going like that. Alright, moving forward. Definitely threatened by the north. But we should be able to put our back up against that southern sea and this is good we have that lake on one side and here we have been split entirely drat that is very bad I'm going to go ahead and say that there's no way we're going to win this here. Let's go ahead and start over and let's try this again. Edow, take two, ladies and gentlemen. We're off to a very good start here. And what we need to do, I believe, here is we're going to need to play a little more defensively. Just a little. We perhaps started out a little too aggressive. Definitely under threat from the yellow teams there. I think if we can just combine here and stay together, we'll probably be in decent shape. So this is not entirely perfectly defended, but it's not bad. Let me take another look at some of those moves, though. If we take that territory there, and defend right there, we may be able to hold more territory. A little to be done there. From here, we went ahead and plugged that yellow guy away and take some territory there. We're going to see no spearmen yet. Interesting. So without spearmen, might as well move to the south. Here is very little that we can do. Let's take some territory from that guy. Maybe that'll be enough to 
prevent his spearmen from gaining together. Here we have an opportunity to secure a little more territory for ourselves. I simply don't like this. Let's overanalyze this a little bit. If I secure that area there, that might be the safer route to take. Here, going like that, he's going to need a spearman to take any of my tiles. Of course, he gets the spearman. I can then do the same right there. I don't know if that's safe enough, though. That might be the better option. Well, drat! I don't like the way that that came down. That was quite bad. Here in the south, we're looking all right. In fact, if I extend myself there, that might be the move of the game. And again, perhaps not. As I say, we're still learning. All right, let's see what that does for us. Interesting. I definitely want to be able to take territory from the spearmen who are threatening us, but at the same time, I'm quite worried that taking too much territory could prevent us from successfully navigating or defending any territories that we do have. I can threaten yellow a little bit more there. Just inch what I can out of there. I'm quite certain that this territory here is doomed. Unless we can secure more area for ourselves. But if I build a spearman there, he is going to be dead in the next turn. He's going to have to wait. He's going to have to hold up. Alright, threatened but not destroyed. Looking good there. This guy's trouble. Continue to threaten yellow. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. There's nothing to be done there. You extend him that far south and he is not going to make it. However, we could do that. Do like the idea of getting rid of this yellow guy here. Eliminating that threat is a good idea. Protecting that bottleneck there. Let's see what happens next. Not what I was expecting. So, we have an overextended dark green territory here. That is extremely good. Because that means that we can combine here and there. Him being overextended will mean that yellow... Hmm. So this is interesting. I have an opportunity here to gain more territory. Perhaps what I should do is that and that. Defending like that could be good. I would love to get these two territories combined, but I've got to threat, get rid of this yellow threat here bearing down on me right in the middle. All right, let's see what that does for us. We're not there yet. Got to get rid of that guy. And there. All right, we can combine here. That makes an interesting move. 
reunite down here. Secure up there and there. Let's see what that does for us. All right, now I'm definitely seeing a massive, massive threat here where this light brown is concerned. So finally was able to secure, get rid of that yellow guy. Now, by doing that, we can defend multiple places. Start to be a threat here. And as we move to the south, we can unite. All right. Now, I've overextended myself quite a bit, but I feel like I'm fairly well defended in most regards. All right. Now. Dark brown, definitely still a threat. But, the castle there, perhaps the castle needs to be there. And then a split there. Security there. And there. We definitely are going to need to focus, focus our efforts. We're spread a little thin. Seeing this dark brown territory over here in the, in the east is our biggest threat at the moment. Okay. Now we lost our northern territory, but we're still well into the positive. Now, a nice split on the light brown territory there is going to be good for us. In addition to that, I think if we can secure some of these peninsulas, we'll be in very good shape. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to now secure our northern territory a little bit better by doing that. And then throw out what defense I can, where I can. That may be a foolish point. Go there, there, and that's our entire move. So no, I'm going to do there. Fairly well defended in all our bottleneck points. See what we can do to gain this south. Now, of course, as for everything, the trees are the problem. Where's our biggest castle threat? Like I say, we're going to be taking the south here. All right. That, I think, is an excellent move. Right there as well. And then start maneuvering our way back towards the north just to make sure that no one can get a foothold and defend everywhere we are able I'm just going to leave that territory alone
Okay. Good. Splitting that territory is excellent. He's going to have a very hard time with that. Defend there. And there. Now it's going to take a knight to gain that territory back. That's a risky move that I'm not quite willing to take just yet. Uh, I don't like that these trees are coming back, so we're definitely going to take care of these trees right away. I don't think we're quite ready for a second night just yet. But I can do one there. A spearman there. Two spearmen remaining to me. Put that one there. And then here, now we have a knight. But there's not enough men here for me to destroy him, his knight, automatically. Which would be a risk I would take. If I could do it. However, I cannot. Now I can split his territory right here. Then I will be able to eliminate most of the trouble territory here. Turn ourselves nice and green, very secure. And then here in the north, I am now still not able to do what I had hoped we would be able to do, and we are under a bigger threat. But what I should be able to do here very soon is get rid of that dark brown. So let's go ahead and move forward now. Yes, I can wreak havoc on that dark brown player now. Going there. There, 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 and there. Fine! And there. He's going to have a very hard time defending against that. Can protect against the encroaching blast. He's hoping to avoid that happening. And at this point, there's nothing that I can do. To really hurt him. Except that, which is... All that's really going to do is... Ruin a few of his units. That's about it. Unfortunately, it was not strong enough. You can also secure against them by doing that. But I think it would be smarter to not even worry about it and just gain an extra tile while I have the chance. Alright, let's move on. Hopefully that, for the most part, stays exactly where it needed to be. And by doing this and this, I can now split them up there. And then by doing that and that, defending there and there. Well, I bottlenecked myself here. I'm going to go ahead and do that instead so that I can go like that, and like that, then there and there, 
And go ahead and grab a few more tiles here in the south. And then look, he has left me alone. That is interesting. However, now... <laughs> now I don't have enough units to def or resources to keep my units, but that's all right. Moving forward. Yes, exactly what I wanted to have happen to Brown there. And now I can start coming... Oops, not what I wanted to do there. I can start coming up here and irritating Mr. Yellow. And can also split green here. I know I cannot split green, but I can. I'm awfully close to splitting him. I can split brown again. And at this point, I think we need to move towards victory. But I don't want to allow myself to get potential towards defeat. So I'm going to keep the trees at least in check. Excellent move there. Nothing you can do. You're just going to have to sit there. This green is uh, going to be threatened severely by me here. Often you can gain more territory by honeycombing than you can by going through and uh, picking off the little guys. And here there's still nothing to be done. Move on. And yes, I don't know what he was thinking there. That was a very foolish decision on his part. Because now I have split his territory entirely. Not particularly threatened by any place exactly. Hmm. I will go for broke. Let's split them all up. Forget the trees. I'm going to defeat these guys in one sail swoop, as they say. I'm going to protect against the trees on that one front. Because that manpower isn't going to be doing us much good anyplace else. They're not ready for surrender yet. That's quite alright. We're honeycombing them up. Go ahead and do some tree patrol. Chop them back. This always reminds me of that. There's a couple of lines in A Song of Ice and Fire where they talk about how the trees have gotten very close to the wall. I always think about that when these uh, trees begin to encroach on our lands. Also, of course, obviously reminds you of Fangorn Forest. Or Macbeth, depending on uh, how old you like your fantasy. All right, let's go ahead and get us another knight here. Split this guy up. Look at that, we got 61 resource points for each turn. I'm not going to call it yet because of my track record as of yet, but if I were to call it, I would say this game is all but one. Go ahead and bring my army down here and let's get more units for our next turn by securing this land against the trees. And over here that needs to be protected from forest encroachment. 
And surrender in 23 turns. That was excellent. Perhaps it was only a pre that was slowing us down. Perhaps we have now figured out what the problem was. Hopefully we'll uh, have a better track record here in moving forward. Once again, thank you for joining us for Let's Play Slay. It's been a great time. Have a nice evening. Hope to see you again soon.